Fuck all these niggas and bitches, they dead to me. I got the sauce, I got the remedy. Say my dog, but act like an enemy. I make a call and turn you to Kennedy. I'm wasting my time, I'm wasting my energy. Shot for my confidence, shot for a better me. I don't understand what the. I don't understand what's going on in Replay Center, to be honest. I've said it, I think I said it this year or last year or whatever. D Lo clearly gets hit in the face on a drive. What the fuck do we have a replay center if it's, it's, it's going to go? That doesn't, it doesn't make sense to me. It makes no sense to me. It bothers me. I'm sorry I didn't answer your question, but that shit is like. And then I just saw what happened with the uh, Sixers Nick game, too. I'm, what are we? What are we doing? Now, that was just LeBron James um, being very upset and very vulgar about the refereeing in the game in Game Two versus Denver Nuggets. And y'all can go check out my channel, Will True Reacts. I just did a reaction video reacting to the Lakers and Denver Nuggets Game Two game. I'm not gonna lie, I was pissed off. I was pissed off for it. In many aspects, you know, I was not just really pissed off about the officiating because, let's be honest, officiating happens. The bad officiating happens in every game, okay? I was pissed off about a lot of other things. And that's exactly who we're going to get to this video. <laughs> What's good, y'all? It's your boy, we're back again with another video. It's a sad day to be a Lakers fan. And I'm not a Lakers fan. I'm a LeBron fan, okay? So this is a sad day to be a LeBron fan. As y'all know, Jamal Murray hit a game-winning fadeaway shot off of Anthony Davis to prevail and escape game two and take a 2-0 lead in the first round of the series. Watch the whole highlights of the game. I was breaking down every day in my reaction video. There's a lot of things wrong that happened in the second half. First of all, I, I brought up that Anthony Davis was going crazy. He was cooking. He was frying Denver Nuggets. He was frying Jokic. Okay? First half, he dropped around 24 points. He had 32 points with seven minutes left in the third quarter, ladies and gentlemen. Seven minutes left. How many points he had rest of the game? Donut, zero. That's a problem. But I'm not going to get too much on Anthony Davis, but that's a huge problem. That's not acceptable, okay? Let's get into Roy Hashimura. You know, there's one couple, there was a point in time where last year, Roy Hashimura was a huge part in the electric success in the playoffs, getting them to the Western Conference Finals. Against the team they're facing right now. He was getting buckets after buckets versus Memphis. And clutch buckets with Golden State Warriors. You know, this series, I don't even want to pull how many points he scored. But I was looking at the highlights in the first half and, you know, some parts of the second half in the last, in the last night's game. 18 minutes. Zero points. And not only that. If you check out the highlights, you check out film, not just highlights, check out film and check out the whole game. Everybody was getting him buckets. He's a walking statue of liberty out there. Walking cone. But somehow, Darvin Helm wants to, ha ha wants to put him on Jokic. Let me tell you something. You know, I've I seen Darvin Helm got his, you know... He got a contract extension. That was the biggest mistake of the Lakers franchise right now. That's the biggest mistake in Lakers. for the organization to do that. That's a huge mistake. Darvin Ham, he's part. Of, he's part of this problem. How, in God's name, love you, Lord. How, in the game one, do you have Roy? Hashimura on Anthony Davis. You got all these sins on the bench waiting to get in to get some kind of minutes. 
But you want to keep Roy Hachimura, who's not even giving you buckets. No, he, he's not even doing anything on the court right now. But you want to keep him in and guard Jokic. In parts of the fourth quarter, they had Roy Hachimura guard Jokic. But the rest of the, after four minutes left in the game, AD was guarding him. And Jokic, and Jokic he's just on guard. But AD's the best defender in the game right now. In my opinion, Rudy, Rudy Gobert is the most overrated player in NBA right now. But it's a, not, that's not a discussion on today. Jokic was getting AD buckets, bro. The fourth quarter, he it was just unguardable. His footwork is just unmatched, okay? But at the same time, Darvin Ham, why would you have Spencer Dinwiddie in the game? What is like? What are these lineup adjustments? What is going on here? That's part of the problem also. There's a lot of aspects of what happened in that fourth quarter, okay? Why not put Jackson Hayes? Why not bring Jackson Hayes to give him some kind of minutes and have him guard Jokic? Do something. Get him some kind of switches. You're not stopping Jokic, but give him something to work with. As for Austin Reeves, I like Austin Reeves a lot, okay? He needs to step up and more. I love how d played. I have nothing to say about d with last night. He was frying them. Three after three. I knew he was going to step up this game. He had to in order for the Lakers to somehow try to pull off this game in which they did it. d was cooking. As for Austin Reeves, not really. But at least he tried. Unlike real Hachimura trash self. What was the point of picking up Serge and Woody? What was the point of having Gabe Vincent out there for nothing? Let's be honest, y'all. The Lakers don't have enough for Denver. They don't have enough. Denver has KCP. Denver has MPJ, who's cooking the first half. Denver has Jamal Murray, who hit that game winning shot. And messing up my parlay. Denver has Aaron Gordon, who is this amazing defender, underrated defender, who's awful, obviously one of the most athletic players in the, in the game. He's just a player you need to have on your team. Denver has everything, bro. And they have Christian Brown come off the bench. They still have Reggie Jackson. What do the Lakers have? Real Hachimura getting zero points out there? Austin Reeves being inconsistent? d heating up, but it's not enough? LeBron and AD? And let's talk about that bogus of a call on LeBron with Jamal Murray getting free two points. What was that? Who, who, nobody touched him. But on the other end, when LeBron get an easy layup, there's no call. You hear, you hear the wrist slap. You hear the wrist slap from every other TV that's, everybody's watching for another place. Now, it, it could be, you ain't even have to be in the arena. It's from the TV. You can hear the wrist slap, but no call in that. Oh, it's LeBron James. He don't get nothing. He got it. And then it's unfortunate when LeBron missed that wide open three, in and out. And then Jamal Murray comes back at the other end and hits a game winning three over Anthony Davis. I mean, that was just the most devastating loss for the LA Lakers. And unfortunately, after that loss, I'm not going to lie to you, the Lakers are they're going to get swept. I hate to say it. They might get one. You know, maybe game three, but I ain't gonna lie, it's over. It's over. This is the best opportunity for the Lakers to win. And for y'all to lose like that, I don't know how y'all bounce back. I don't know how y'all bounce back at all. For AD to be balling like that and disappear after the first half and three minutes in the third quarter, I don't know how y'all bounce back. For Darvin Ham to make some dumb decisions as a coach. I don't know how y'all bounce back. That's all I got to say for this video, man. If y'all enjoyed, give it a ball. I subscribe to channel if you're new. Comment down below if this series is over. Comment down below, did the Lakers get robbed? Or did Denver just, just got better down the stretch? That's all I got to say for this video, man. Nothing further to do. It's been Bull Will, and I'm out.